We are getting down to the nitty gritty as far as boxes are concerned. Move on to the next one. This one's got a bunch of random stuff. I got Dark Venexianas in silver and gold. 1777 and 1700 out of 1999. Uh, this is a spring deck from One Canoe 2, which uh, is sold through Art of Play. I got this Dominion Special. The Joker and the Thief, which is very nice. They do have more coming this year, supposedly. I got the Aristocrats from Dan and Dave. That are just the casino style ones that I've shown you before. In fancy tuck cases that are falling apart. Got so many tuck cases that are falling apart. But yeah, it's just that back the uh, logo. Come on. Yeah. Pretty, uh, kind of lame. In my opinion. I've got, I got the chameleons in, in the red and the blue and the special... Green, oh, it's not a, yeah, it's a special one from Legends, I guess, or no, Elite playing cards car and conjuring arts. Spectrum 52 and Spectrum Edge from Cosmo Solano, he's the one who does the Spectrum decks. Now, I don't remember more Phoenix decks, these are the more recent ones. The green, darker green, as opposed to the other one, orange, black. And purple. I think there's enough Phoenix colors now as well. We got this. Uh, this is the Keep Moon deck from Bomb Magic. The Arcanums from Gambler's Warehouse in white and black, I guess. Also from Gambler's. Oh my god, what happened here? <laughs> Let's put that. Come on, there we go. <laughs> Stupid flap. It's like bent right out of the box and won't go back in. Anyway, these are the bicycle. Well, there we go. It's the bicycle spirit, the silver, blue, unbranded gold one, and the limited edition black one. That's eight hundred five out of eleven hundred. I got the one entertainment deck from Expert Playing Cards. It's for the one entertainment group, Expert Legends. To produce that one, Legends produce it. I've got oh, the uh, Lingo translation decks, the Italian and in French and Spanish, which I got from Kickstarter. The other one I got on the website. You can still get them. They also have another one which is in Asian language. I don't remember which one. It didn't interest me. I got the Skinny Vinny Lost Cities from SkinnyVinny.com. I got these Staunton playing cards, part of the Bar Zim. Not familiar with them. It's vintage decks, they're just aviator backs, though, which is a little bit disappointing to me. They got the uh, Empire Bloodlines in green and blue, and the limited edition black one as well. 1803 out of 2000. Alice in Wonderland from Deck Starter in black and white. Actually, one of them is. Uh, the Cardus edition, and the other one was whatever. I don't remember. It doesn't say. Uh, we got. I got the Eminence prototype. They were funded on Kickstarter from Vadim Smolnitsky. Look forward to them. The Sinners from Alan Rorison. Pretty cool. Black Fontaines. Uh, I got a Marlboro deck that I found on Etsy. I believe it was. It's not too bad. Jet Setter from Paul Ruckio. He's got another version coming probably just sometime this year. Golden Bee in red. I also have the blue one. Deep from Galen Island Felt. Pretty cool deck. Made by Ad Magic. Now, Cards by Children, which is from Jail Magic. There's the Black Tycoon from Theory 11. Very nice. Uh, the Midnight Moon Sign or Dark Moon Sign from Enigma LDD. I got this deck, which is the um, Renegades and Rogues. Liberty, Renegades and Rogues, which was on Kickstarter. It did not make it. And then Liberty, Gambler's Warehouse, I guess, self-funded it, produced it themselves. I got 
This is the Metropole Dex full house. Uh, it's the trainers, trainer cards, trainer decks, which I've never used. <laughs> and speaking of Metropole, there's also the Metropole Knox. That was your first deck. And then there is the Lux in blue. And the main Lux deck and the red Lux deck as well. And I got the Grimoire series from the Edgy Brothers, the ones they've released so far. The Necromancy and the Elemental Magic. Hopefully these don't go in the way of the Bicycle Limited Edition series where they end. <laughs> and I got a couple of Power Rangers decks because I am a fan of Power Rangers. Two different backs, but they see the same faces. And I got them both from like Etsy. Uh, let's push this out of the way and continue. The next box. And... Ah, here we go. Here's my other thousand one Aladdin's. There's the dome back and the other standard one. I'll have to switch those up and correct that. I've got more poker toy in black and white. And I got the red and blue ones. Very nice decks. I'll put these over here. Marlboro Texan. Very cool, vintage. I got the Latin 1002s. And I guess it's red and blue as well. Another Pepsi and Coke deck. These are poker sized decks. Welcome to Vegas. There's a B deck. I got Windex. Brown, blue, and there's a, a red one here somewhere. These are the signature series. They're not the ones that 311 has. But they're still pretty cool. Nice to have. Red, blue, and brown. But I do have the other ones as well. Here we go. Red and the brown and the blue or purple, violet, whatever they call it. And then there's a black one, which is also a signature edition. But it's different. <laughs> Win Encore. I got a couple more Hoyle decks here. The Hoyle Stripe and the Hoyle Dots. They're the Fasten decks. I got the Texan Palmettos, which is made for a sale in Canada, despite the fact that it's Texan. And that's the back design. Very cool. Kind of like the uh, Lux Palm decks. I got the Hope for Japan deck from Dr. Leon, as well as the Hope for Haiti. And the Dr. Leon, uh, yellow and black decks, Dr. Leon, complete! I don't know why I said <laughs> whose idea that was, but it's kind of silly. Um, but these are pretty cool. And I got the Wild West playing cards. They're fun little decks, as you can see, USB-C made, black and red. No seal on the black one. And the Texan deck, which is based on a vintage deck. And we'll be back. 